What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get started at the top center of our page with the nose. So we're going to start with a circle, coming all the way around. I'm going to add a highlight circle along the top left. So we'll add a smaller circle just up against the edge of the nose. And we're going to fill the bottom area in black. Now we're going to draw on the top edge of the muzzle. Starting from the left side of the nose, I'm going to curve out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're just going to bend this back up, blend to a curve going up. And then we're going to bend it back down towards the edge of the fur. Now we're going to add the first point of fur. Starting from the left side, we're going to taper this in and then down. Let's add another one. We're going to curve out and then down. And then we're going to taper that back up and in. Let's add another one. We're going to curve out and then down. And then again, we're going to taper that back up and in. And then for the last one, we're going to add a little bit more curl, going out and then just hooking that in. And we'll pull that back up towards the chin. And let's connect the inside with a curve. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and then up towards the right. Let's move back up and draw in the mouth. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve down and then up. Now on the ends of the mouth, I'm going to add a small bracket. Let's move up and draw the inside edge of the eyes. Starting on the left side of the nose, I'm going to go straight up, and then we're just going to bend that out. And then from the top of the eye, I'm going to curve out, round up the eye, and then pull that down and in on top of the muzzle. Let's add two long ovals along the inside of the eye. So we start on the inside edge of the left eye, curve up, come down, and we'll just pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up, down, and then pull that in. Now on the top left of each eye, we draw a small oval for a highlight. We'll line this up on the right. Now we want to trace the iris along the inside, but we're going to go in behind the highlight. So let's start at the bottom of the highlight, come down, go up, and then back in. We'll fill that area in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now from the center, we're going to move up and draw in the hair. Starting from the center, we're going to go up, now we're going to bend this down, aiming towards the right eye. Now let's taper that back up. Going up, now pull that back down. At the top of this curve, we we'll go up again, and then down towards the right. And again, we're going to taper this back up, and we're just going to pull that down on the inside. Let's add one more. At the top of this curve, we're going to go up and out. And we're going to pull this all the way around, and then down right beside the first line. Now let's move out from the eyes and draw on the side of the head. Starting from the left eye, we'll step out on top of the fur, curve out, and then up. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the outside edge of the ear. Starting on the left, we'll curve out, and then up. And then from the tip of the ear, I'm going to curve in and then down to right about there. Now we're going to close off the top of the head. Start on the left, we're going to go up and then in behind the hair. We'll continue down on the right side. Let's draw on the inside of the ear. From these two points, we're going to step in and draw a curve. Going up and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And I just want to trace the ears out on the inside. Now 
Okay, so now that we finished the head, let's work our way down the body. We start underneath the chin on either side, curve out and down. We're gonna add the fur along the top edge of the chest. And we're just gonna taper that back in with a short line. Let's add two more. Curving out and down. Pulling that back in. And at the end, we're gonna come down and out. And then we'll come in with a short line. And then from the inside of the fur, we're gonna draw on the bottom patch of the body. Starting on the left, curve around, round up the bottom, and we'll pull that back up on the right side. Now from the fur on the left, we're gonna step out, just gonna follow the same curve, coming around to right about there. Do the same thing on the right, going out and then in. And then from the bottom, we're gonna draw a straight angle line coming down and out on either side. Now from the hips, we're gonna step in, draw that same angled line to the inside edge of the legs. And we'll go back up and close off the inside with a curve, coming down and then up. Now we're gonna add the folded cuff around the legs. So from these two lines, we're gonna step out and draw a curve, coming down and up, just touching the end of the line. And then we're gonna step up and draw a bracket, going around and then in. And do the same thing on the inside. Let's do the same on the right leg. Start with that curve. Then we're gonna step up and draw that large bracket. Now we're gonna draw on the bottom of the cuff. Starting on the left side, we're gonna round this out, come down towards the bottom, up, and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Starting up here, round up the side, come down towards the bottom, up, and then in. Let's go back to the inside of the cuff. I'm gonna curve in and then down towards the heel. Do that on both sides. And then from the heel, we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. So let's start on the left. Curve down and then up towards the toe. And then from the toe, we're gonna curve up and then in towards the outside of the cuff. Let's add the trim for the sole. We want to take this curve, step up, and just trace that right up above. And then we'll add the toe cap. From the top of the foot, we're going to step out, curve in, and then down towards the sole. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left. We have this arm raised up, so we start on the side of the fur, curve down, and then up towards the wrist. Now we want to draw that curve twice. So we step down, curve down, and then up in behind the body. Now let's add in the cuff. We start down here, curve in towards the arm, and then back up. Let's round up the ends, just pulling them back in towards each other. Now we're going to do an overlap. Stepping in, curving out, and up. And the same thing on the right. And then we'll close off the inside with a curve. Coming in, and then back up. From the top of the cuff, we're gonna curl around the thumb. So start here, going up, out. I'm gonna round up the thumb, and then go back up. And then we're gonna go back to the outside and curl three fingers in behind the thumb. So start out here, we start with the first finger, Curving out, we come in. I'm just gonna curl this in on itself, going back up. Let's go to the top of this finger, curve up, and then in behind the thumb. Go back to the top, curve up, and then again back in behind the thumb. I'm just gonna close off the inside with a curve. And then from the tip of the thumb, we're gonna draw on the palm, curving down and then in. Now we're gonna to go to the right. This arm is just gonna be hanging down the side. So from the top of the body, we'll step down, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. We'll step up, just draw that same curve. Now I'm gonna draw on the cuff, similar to how we did with the feet. So we're gonna start with that overlapping curve, going across. We'll step up, 
and we'll draw those brackets going around the inside and then the outside. Then we'll step down towards the bottom, curve out, round up the bottom, and then come in on the outside. From the inside of the cuff, we're going to start with a thumb, curving in and then back out with a small half circle. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Let's go back down towards the bottom curve of the thumb. We'll come down and then up around that bracket. Let's add two more fingers. Step down, curve down and up. Step down again. We're going to curve out the hand and then in behind the cuff. Now we're going to draw the tails coming over towards the left side. So let's start from the left hip and start with a curve. Coming down and then we'll bend that back up. Let's add in the fur. We're going to taper this back down and in with a short curve. And go back up and out. Do that again. Coming down and in. And then we'll go back out and up. Now the tail gets wider as we come down towards the bottom of the curve and then we'll pull that back up towards the inside of the right leg. Come all the way down, in behind the foot. Now we're going to come to the inside, curve up and in. And then we're going to layer the second tail in behind. So step down, curve out and up. We're going to add three points of fur. Take her back and go back up. Pull that back in, and then one more time, going back up. Now from here, we're just going to pull this down and then up, just up above the hip. And down, and we'll bend that back up. And then we're going to separate out the tip of the tail. Starting at the top, come down and out towards the right. Now we're going to curve this back over and then down. And then we're going to separate out the tip of the front tail. Moving over towards the left, come down and over towards the right. Do another curve. Come out and in. Do a smaller one here. And then one more time. We're going to come out and then all the way over towards the bottom. And that's pretty much it. There's Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.